I'm with uh, Simon Gray at Talk About Local, and Simon flagged up a session on uh, has the social media bubble burst. And you've been around this scene since 1986, so you've th- seen things come and go. Why did you raise that question? Well, it's, it's just a case of seeing how things have actually been developing within, within this current phase of social media, um, seeing that some of the people that three, four years ago were its principal advocates have actually started to disappear. And, and seeing how that's actually the same thing that happened with Usenet, with IRC, with bulletin boards, with Prestel, and yeah, with other things. And when, when I actually ask, has the social media bubble burst? That's a bit of a naughty question that I ask because, of course, it hasn't. Because it's been going since 1986 consistently, then, then it hasn't burst. But is it the case that the term social media has, has actually burst? Are we, are we actually seeing the, 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 the situation where people... The, the people that, that are in this current community are getting ready to leave it and form new communities with a new name. Um, and that, that, to a certain extent, actually gets back to, to me, to what, actually, what social media actually is. And the clue is the term social. It's not about the technology, it's not about the platform, it's not about blogging or whether people comment on websites or whatever. It's about the communities which form around these things, um, the, these social media nodes, we might call them. Um, and, and because it's a social thing, it's about communities, it's inherently not scalable. Um, once a community gets too big, it fragments. Um, and goes off into different communities elsewhere. And, and similarly with a platform, once a platform will get too big, it will fragment and, and new, new platforms will come and go um, and have different names. And, but at, at, at heart, what will, what will, what will remain is, is what, what has always been happening of people gathering together in online spaces as they've done since, since even before 1986 to talk and share ideas and argue and form friendships and all that kind of thing. And um, so who stays and who goes and why do they think they go? Is it because of a particular technology or whatever? I think it's a case of people get bored. People feel they've been doing that thing for so long in that space. Um, And and they, you know, they, they... they, they get bored of it in the same way that yeah, you might get bored with a certain band that you were into or a certain composer, a certain television programme that you're into. There are people who will remain interested in the concept for a long time, um, such as myself. You know, clearly, I've remained interested in communicating with people online, but not everyone who was around when I started is still around now.